Hello everyone, this time we are going to read and analyze the Bible reading for the 16th of Nisan, which will help us prepare our hearts for the commemoration day. All these readings speak about the last week Jesus spent on earth, so don't miss it, because in the end we will draw good comments and lessons that we can learn from this reading. Without further ado, let's begin. Nissan 16th Luke 24 verses 1 to 49 On the first day of the week, the women went very early to the tomb. They brought the aromatic spices they had prepared. But they found that the stone of the tomb had been rolled away, and when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. The women were still puzzled by this when suddenly two men with shining clothes appeared beside them. They were frightened and looked down. So the men said to them, Why are you looking for the living among the dead? He is not here, he has risen. Remember what he told you while he was still in Galilee. He said that the Son of Man had to be delivered into the hands of sinners and be executed on the cross, but on the third day he had to rise again. Then they remembered his words. So they returned from the tomb and told all this to the eleven and to all the others. They were Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Mary the mother of James. Also, the other women with them told these things to the apostles. But their words seemed like nonsense to them, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb. When he bent over to look in, he saw only the linen cloths. So he went away, wondering what had happened. And it happened that very day, two of the disciples were walking to a village called Emmaus, about eleven kilometers from Jerusalem. They were talking to each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing these things, Jesus himself approached and began to walk with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, their faces downcast. One of them, named Cleopa, answered him, are you the only one visiting Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? What things? he asked. They replied, The things concerning Jesus the Nazarene, who proved to be a powerful prophet in word and deed before God and all the people. Our chief priests and rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. What is more, it is the third day since all this took place. Some women from our group amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning but did not find his body. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels, who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see Jesus. And he said to them, How foolish you are, and how slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. They approached the village to which they were going, and he acted as if he were going farther. But they urged him strongly, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening, the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. While he was reclining at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him. But he disappeared from their sight. They said to each other, 
Were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking with us on the road and explaining the scriptures to us? At that moment, they got up and returned to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven and those with them, assembled together and saying, The Lord has indeed risen and has appeared to Simon. Then the two told what had happened on the road and how they recognized Jesus when he broke the bread. While they were still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and frightened, thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled, and why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see, a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and feet. And while they still did not believe it because of joy and amazement, he asked them, Do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. He said to them, This is what I told you while I was still with you, everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms. Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, This is what is written, The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I am going to send you what my Father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. When he had led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they stayed continually at the temple, praising God. John 20 verses 1-18 On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb early, while it was still dark, and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciple started for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen lying there but did not go in. Then Simon Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in its place, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went inside. He saw and believed. They still did not understand from Scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to where they were staying. But Mary stood outside the tomb, crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means, Teacher.
Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. Now, let's look at the comments and lessons we can highlight from this reading. Let's see the first comment. In this reading, we can learn about Jehovah's great power, as the best demonstration he has given us is by raising his son from the dead, which shows us that with his power, he will remove death forever when his kingdom comes. Let's see the second comment. We see that Jesus tells Mary, Go and tell my brothers. So, despite the fact that his apostles had abandoned him before he died, he sent for them and called them, My brothers. This teaches us about how important it is not to hold grudges when someone offends us, but rather to forgive them wholeheartedly. Let's see the third comment. We can learn that Jehovah and Jesus trust their servants because before ascending to heaven, Jesus left us with a great commission and at the same time a privilege, to be part of his purpose on earth, teaching all people through preaching the good news. Let's see the fourth comment. In view of the mandate Jesus left us, this teaches us that we must continue to strive to be good teachers in order to help people with sincere hearts gain knowledge of God before the day of Jehovah arrives. This was the analysis of the Bible reading for the commemoration of the 16th of Nisan. I hope it has been of great help to you. Until tomorrow, my brothers, I send you a warm hug and may Jehovah bless and protect you always.